welcome to this week's Down Home with Tina, folks. I have got a really special show. Oh, a lot of things have happened in the last, well, month, I would like to say. I don't know if you've been on my Facebook page or anything, but I had some unfortunate events take place towards the end of the year. And with all of that being said, I've got coming up on the show as my first guest, Carla Young. She happens to be with the Olive Dale Park and Senior Center is through the Lancaster Parks and Recreation. But after Carla, I had decided that I wanted to invite a young man to the show that does something special for others in the community. He's been doing it since he was just a baby. It was something his parents had the idea of doing because it was around the holidays. And I'm going to share with you the special connection that has been made because of what I had gone through at the end of the year. And I just have to say that there are just things that are meant to be, and he was meant to be a guest on the show, and that is what he is today. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. It's Down Home with Tina. Hi, I'm Sheriff Alex Lake. In my 30-year law enforcement career, I have seen many different trends in illicit drug trade and substance use disorders. Fentanyl is the deadliest drug that I have ever encountered. Very minuscule amounts can be fatal. Fentanyl is present in most mainstream illicit drugs. Drug cartels are now pressing fentanyl into forms that appear to be common candies. Ingesting any of these fake candies or pills can have fatal overdose effects. This ongoing drug epidemic requires a balanced approach. We must focus our attentions and resources on treatment and education in conjunction with enforcement efforts that hold those who traffic in dangerous drugs accountable. For your sake and the sake of your family, do not take any medications that are not issued through prescriptions by your pharmacy. Thank you. This message is brought to you by the Fairfield County Adam H. Board. Welcome back to Down Home with Tina. I have Carla Young with me. She is manager at, it's Lancaster Parks, what, Olive Dale Park and Senior Center. But it's correct. under the Lancaster Parks and Recreation. Absolutely. And so you, that, we were just talking about that. That is your thing, Olive Dale. You just know everything about it. How many years have you been there now, I'm Carla? going on 15. 15 <coughs> years. 15 years, yes. So yes, you would definitely know anything and anybody and everyone that comes in that door, I bet, by now. <laughs> So I try. <laughs> <laughs> right. So why did you decide that you wanted to get involved with Olive Dale way back 15 years ago? Well, originally I worked for Lancaster Glass. My daddy worked for Lancaster did Glass. Did he? And I'm going to talk a little bit about him after a bit. So, okay. Oh, yes. So mm -hmm. I worked at Lancaster wow. Glass, and when they went out, then mm -hmm. I had to mm -hmm. look elsewhere. And someone that worked at Lancaster Glass just happened to be on the board at Olive Dale and knew that there was an opening. And so I slid right in there. And you know what? It has been a great fit for me. Awesome. Yeah, I'd say 15 years. I, That's a I, long time. I enjoy the people that are, our members are just wonderful. I want to just share with folks to make sure because you also have the, it's the Lancaster Parks, it's at Health and Fitness down below. Correct. Or is that all together or is that separate, Carla? It's kind of a separate thing, but it's... Let me explain. If you are an Olive Dale member, you have access to all of it. Okay, everything in the building, well, right. everything that you have. And an Olive Dale member means you're 55 or older, or you have a spouse that's 55 or older, Okay. and you be can become a member. And then the Health and Fitness Center is open to 25 and up. Okay, and that is in its own membership. It's its and own it's membership, yes. Do they get we the membership We do monthly passes, you? yes. Okay. So everything's done at the Olive Dale Park office. Okay, which yes. is when you walk right in the door, that's where you walk Correct. right over there, and that's, that's where right. they would find you. Yes. Maybe sometimes hidden in the back. I'm never <laughs> saying that you would hide in the back. I've been there 15 years, you obviously love what you do. But I would hide in the back sometimes. <laughs> I, I won't I'm deny or, <laughs> <laughs> or admit, or admit whether that, you yes. do or do not. That's hide right. in the back. You know? <laughs> we have a lot to talk about. i got to stay all focused here. Because you guys do offer so many different things there. So what are some of the things that you get with a membership at Olive Dale? The Olive Dale Senior Membership means you have access to all the senior programming. And that's line dance, that's going to the billiards room and playing billiards anytime you want, ping pong, um, clogging, basket class, uh, wood carving, quilting, oh my uh, bingo. 
Um, what else do we have? Well, there's just so many things that we have for the senior programming. And then you have access to downstairs, the Health and Fitness Center. So you do get a slight discount on your monthly pass. But okay. most of our members have a Medicare Advantage program, which is Silver Sneakers, Renew Active, or Silver and Fit, something like okay. that, which pays for their membership to that gym. Okay. So they don't pay for a monthly pass. Okay. So it's, it's more confusion for the office than it is for anybody else. I bet, yeah, no, and I can understand. It's all a good thing. It all works they, out. It's yes. a very good thing for everybody. Okay. But again, the downstairs health and fitness center is open to 25 and up. Mm -hmm. And we, downstairs then, we offer exercise classes. Mm -hmm. We have a gym that has lots of equipment in it. And we also have a warm therapeutic exercise pool. Nice, nice. Now, do you have people that, that are volunteers that come over there? Do you ever depend on volunteers? We have probably over 200 volunteers. So that is a definite yes. 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 <laughs> Most of the organizations we can't do, do what that. we do without volunteers. We have a part time cook. So we do have cook oh. events, you know, our yeah. main events, like our 80s birthday party, which we have a birthday party for everyone 80 and above oh. once a year. We have uh, our volunteer lunch. Those are big And everybody's events. invited to it. It's the just volunteers you're, you're are just all the invited, the yes. The 80s is just exactly. any, celebrating 80 birthdays and Well, up, it's everybody 80 and above. Oh. We invite to this. Oh, you just invite yes. them. Okay, so it's not just even them. celebrating their birthdays. So that's over now. 400 people. I sent oh over 400 goodness, Carla. invitations last year for our 80s birthday, and we had close oh. to 200 people show up. It's a big event, and they love it. Uh, yes, that's why that's yes. why it's 80s above only. That's that's right. <laughs> well, and I can how many also members. How many members do you have? We have, I think we have close to 2,000 members. Very nice. And probably 98 percent of them are over 60. Okay. And that includes downstairs because originally it was all for seniors, mm -hmm. and then we opened it up, and I think that. You're going to have those that are younger come in, especially during the evening, because older yeah. folks don't like to be out after dark too much. But I don't I, either. that's me. <laughs> too. Once I'm in, I'm older. In. I don't even matter to me anymore. I can be older. <laughs> I don't like after dark. <laughs> but we have a good group of people and good exercise classes at night. We got spin class at night. So oh. it's well attended. We've got a suspend class. Do you guys have the swing pool? They have the pool, right? We have the pool, yes. yes and we have classes in the pool. So, you know, there's things going on, but there's not a whole lot of people in the gym maybe at okay. 6 o'clock at night. Yeah. and Because the building's open till 7. Okay, we have classes okay, until 7 o'clock. 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. Okay, all right, is what your hours are. Monday for the through Thursday. Building. Then Friday we close at 4.30, and we okay. now have Saturday hours. Oh, you do? Have Eight to two, yes. Very nice yes. for those who want access downstairs. Right. How often do you have big events, like bigger events open to the public? Because do you, you do Well, we have, have fish some, fries right? during the... During, during the, Lent? Is that what it is? Or is that what it is? Mm, it's or not? March to March. September. We oh, have no, a fish so fry. Yes. The, oh, yeah. the whole we have a fish fry, and it's fall. on a Tuesday. So it's... But our fish oh, fries yeah. are to get money for, you know, it's a money maker, basically. Okay, But yeah. everybody... Everybody loves the fish fry. It's good food. So that is, that's kind of like one of the fundraiser things. It's a fundraiser, yes. Um, we have a breakfast. We call it our silver spoon breakfast on Thursdays mm -hmm. from 8 to 10. And that's open to the public. Oh, okay. So the fish fries are open to the public. The breakfast, uh, breakfast is open to the public. Yeah. Aww. And there's just the special events that are not open to the public. But, but you, know. you do put out there when you do have an event that's coming out. Oh, absolutely. That's a big event that's going to be available. Because do you have those every now and again, like dances we do. and stuff? We have dances. Uh, we have about two every month. You do? Yes. Open to the public? Open to the public, 18 and above. Yes. Somebody had just sent me a message. or uh, No, they put it out on social media. I think it was about a month and a half ago. They are like, why don't we ever have anything in January or February? Well, we do. We do. In the community. That's right. <laughs> That's do. right. We just don't know. Is it kind of like a hidden gem for those that I like to it's be been social? To send that. You know what yes. I mean? To, yes. to go out and do things when it is that kind of cold and icky. And I know it gets dark early. It I just, know. It's part of winter. Matter of fact, we have, you know, we have day trips sometimes. We have day trips. And um, in January, we figure it's going to be crappy. So we just 
have movies. Okay. We show a matinee every Wednesday instead of taking a trip during the month of January. Yeah, which it's safer for it's everybody. It's safer, it's and you nice. Can stay, yeah, yeah, close by. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are some of the trips that you guys kind of like to take for those who might be interested? In well, some of them, of uh, of they like to gamble. Okay, so you go to so the casino. So we like to gamble, we go to the, the casino, yeah, go, well, and sometimes, a lot, most of the times we go to like a movie and a show. We go down oh, to Lock yeah. Media where there's a play or a show and it, there's where also a buffet. That is in Springboro. Oh, so you guys take a trip, day trip? Are yes. they all day mm -hmm. trips? And usually? the Amish country. Everybody likes to go, to, and there's an Amish theater now. So they go to the Amish theater and they eat. So when you get oh. my age, the fun things are all eating. <laughs> eating related. <laughs> they told me I was an old soul a long time ago, and that must be part of my reasoning why. It's because I love to eat too. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm grumpy. If I don't have it. <laughs> me as well. <laughs> there's more of us, I'm sure, out there, Carla. That's right. I'm sure. So no, you do. So you guys get to go places and different and try different things. We do. And different yes. restaurants and stuff. Yeah. Do you have the person in charge of that, or is that you? Are you the one that, that manages I, most of that? That is my second hand, which is Jackie, Jackie Aww. Compton, and she's she's great at what she does. And I couldn't do what I do without her. No, that's great. Yeah. It's when you have a good team, that is when things and I have great. a great, a great team. team. That's that right. Becomes even mm -hmm. amazing. That's, that's what right. I should say. Yes, because yes. it just makes that wheel and that clock go. Yes, ma'am. I know wheel that's and clock right. have nothing, but that's okay to do it <laughs> coming because I can never get those things right. But we're gonna we're just gonna work with it. Today. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's one of that's those good. things. <laughs> Happy New we'll Year, by the way. Right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what are some things maybe folks aren't familiar with at Olive Deal that you might want to share today? That they may not know. I know you've shared probably quite a bit. Right. I don't. Um, the membership for Olive Dale Senior Perfect. Center is twenty four dollars mm -hmm. a year. We prorate that, and it depends on your last name. So um, we may prorate it and go further to get you into an annual schedule, and then after that, it's twenty four dollars a year each person. That's a steal. That to is be a, a member? steal to be a member of well, all no of the Well, no wonder you have like 4,000 members in there. <laughs> <laughs> How many people do we have 55 and above, I guess? Like, well, there, there you go. Well, and those that know about all of Dale. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Hey, folks, spread the word. That's, That's what we right. want to spread Absolutely. the word. Then, then she can be there for another 15 years. <laughs> I'm saying this, well, maybe here, four years, Carla wants to be. Carla, what, how can folks follow you? Is it Facebook, on a, a website, or anything? We do have a Facebook page. It's All of Dale Senior Citizens. Um, our website, olivedale.com. Perfect. And you can also go to the park's website and yes. find us. All right. Wonderful. Thank you so much for taking the time for being with me. Thank you for having me. Folks, don't go anywhere. I have a wonderful young man who does wonderful things in the community. And I have had my own experience without even he or I knowing of each other. And I'll share that with you when we get back. It's down here with Tina. The Frankie Smith Funeral Home and Crematory in Lancaster and the Johnson Smith Funeral Home in Baltimore have a long and wonderful history of serving our community. Feel free to give us a call at 740-653-0652. Stop in and see us at either of our two locations, 405 North Columbus Street in Lancaster and 207 South Main Street in Baltimore. Respect for tradition, regard for change. You walked down the aisle and promised happily ever after. Sometimes happily ever after means ending a relationship. We know the conversations are not easy. Deciding what's best for you, your children, and your next steps takes work and communication. At Dagger Law, we know there are no monsters in a divorce, only people trying to find their way. Local trusted, experienced, Dagger Law. Welcome back to Down Home with Tina. I have Cyrus Kilbarger with me today. He is, you just turned 10 years old, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I know it's a little late for your birthday, but you do something pretty cool every year for your birthday. And Cyrus, I'm so very excited to share it with everybody. Um, and as I'm sitting here, before we get started, we're having a conversation, and I already knew you're a special kid, but boy, I didn't know how special you were until you shared the middle a middle name with my dad, who we're going to learn a lot more about that in just a couple minutes, because first I want to learn all about you. 
Will you, when's your birthday? What day does your birthday land on? What's December 1st. December 1st, all right. And every year since you first, what, was a year old, and I don't expect you to remember this because <laughs> you were really little, you have done something special for your birthday for others in the community, right? Mm-hmm. Can you tell us what was that first year that I know has been shared with you that you did in the community for your birthday? My parents um, got gifts for um, toddlers at the because they couldn't spend Christmas with their family and they couldn't afford gifts, so we got them gifts. So you guys got things. Did you ask other like friends and family to do the same to donate money, or was it just something you got you did as a family? Friends and family donated too. Donated too to give back. Do you know why mom and dad decided that they wanted to do something like this? Because my birthday was close to Christmas. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. <laughs> You've got awesome parents. Okay, so do you want to share with me a little bit of each year what you have done? Mm -hmm. Has it been the same thing every year? No. No. What do you remember the second year? Um, I'm pretty sure we start. our grandma was in the hospital, so we got her um, blankets and we got all the other pa patients blankets because they couldn't spend Christmas with their family. That is pretty nice. And so what did your grandma think about the blanket? Did she get the opportunity to tell you how it made her feel when you gave her a blanket? I don't remember. You like don't remember? it was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, was it? So you've done toys for, so you've collected toys for kids in the community that couldn't mm -hmm. get toys. Um, you also have done blankets as well, <laughs> right? And are there any other things that you have done or is it mostly toys and blankets? I've also um, donated to the policemen and the firefighters. You have, what did you do for them? Like I got them uh, presents or like not presents, like bags with like goodies or stuff. Mm -hmm. Treats and stuff mm -hmm. to give to them. That's a coffee. Some coffee? <laughs> That's important. <laughs> I would have to say. I agree. Yes. What has been your favorite thing that you've done so far? Donating blankets to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Do you get to see some of the patients when you're, you're giving out the blankets? Um, yes. Yes. Do you dress a certain way when you go to deliver your gifts well, to I people? Don't, like, Do you really sometimes wear a costume? Mm. This year, I wore a Buddy the Elf costume. You did? And s some other years, I've been wearing like Santa hats or like Christmas stuff. Yeah. Do you say Merry Christmas when you see the patients, or you just kind of give it to them? I like give it to them, and I s like say why I did it a little sometimes. You do? What d and what do you tell them? If I were a patient in the hospital, what would you say? I say that, like they say like sometimes, why did you do this? And I said, because um, I feel sad because they're in the hospital. Or mm -hmm. And you're just hoping to put a smile on their face? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have a blanket here, and it was my dad who, Cyrus doesn't know the whole story, folks, so I'm going to share the whole story right now. So my dad was taken, he called me up one day, he hadn't been in good health for a little while, and he hadn't been to the doctor for a while, and he asked me to take him to the hospital. So I wasn't able to get in the hospital, so we called the fire department, the medics, and they came and got him, and they took him to the hospital. And it was, I was going in a couple times a day, because he didn't have a lot of people. I've got my sisters that will go see him sometimes too, but not a whole lot. So I would try to go at least twice a day. And Christmas morning, because it was Christmas, I wanted to go in and spend time with my dad first thing in the morning. And lo and behold, I walk into the room, is this blanket that is draped across him. And what I hadn't shared yet was just before that, I had you though, just before that, I had received a couple of weeks that you go to the same church that I go to. And this fella said, hey, there's this young kid, he goes to the church and he does this every year for his birthday. Maybe he would be good for a good interview, which next time you want to do donating please let's plan to have you back okay mm -hmm. next year we can share with folks what it is exactly that you're going to do if it's going to be donate getting money because you gather people will donate money right yeah. cyrus do they also give you blankets as well do they do both blankets and money is yeah. it mostly money that the, they give you both yeah 
Because I remember this year they gave us blankets and they gave us snacks. Oh, they did. Stuff. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. nice. Well, then you can. Um, we'll we'll get you on then. So, anyways, I walk in on Christmas morning to see my dad, and here's this blanket. And then when I saw, because you had a little card in there with your picture mm -hmm. that explained what you did, and my heart was just like, I have to say, tears came to my eyes because I was just like, what an awesome thing. And first of all, my dad was cold a lot. Right. So when he got cold, of course they have plenty of blankets at the hospital. I would put the blanket, you know, I'd make sure that he was covered up real good. And this was perfect because he was cold. Well, um, that day before, was it not day, Christmas was Sunday. On the Friday before Christmas, he was put on a ventilator. So he really couldn't talk to me a whole lot. So he wasn't doing real good, right? Mm -hmm. However, then a week later, um, dad, my dad passed away, which is a very, very sad thing. But Cyrus, this is the very last gift that he had received, and it was his for Christmas because you know we didn't we didn't take him you know celebrate Christmas or whatever. So this gift is something very 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 dear to me. So because of what you do and you give back and things like that, and I cannot believe you share the same name as my dad. I'm just like my heart smiles because right now I'm sleeping with this. Okay, this is my blankie. <laughs> this has become my blankie. All right. <laughs> But I like to give little gifts and stuff. Do you want to share anything else before I give you the gift? You're probably like, no. Uh, <laughs> um, You'll uh, do this again this year, My right? brother kind of helps sometime in it. Oh, how old's your brother? He's 10 and almost 11 in like May or April. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> and he helps too. And I have a baby brother named Cedar. Aww, how old is he? He's one and turning two in like April or May. <laughs> so because you have the birthday in at Christmas time, you think this is a really great way to show them what it's like to give back and how important mm -hmm. it is? I think so too. I think so. Anything else? I don't have anything yeah. else in my mind. So, Something that my dad liked to do, and I don't know if you like to play games. I'm not a video game person. I don't get on my phone. I don't play games and things like that. But my dad loved to play checkers. So I thought I would just get you a little game that you can, if you ever sit down, I don't know if you ever, you ever played checkers. Uh, kind of. I, I haven't really, I don't really know about like checkers and um, those well, games, but. But maybe you'll take the time and now you can learn how to play checkers. It's just one of those fun games, especially when it's like rainy outside and there's nothing that you can do and it's cold like this weather is nowadays. But this is chess checkers and Chinese checkers. So maybe you can learn how to play checkers. So that is some, and then I've got some goodies and some treats in there. I always have sugar because I always got to get my kids. Me and too. Since you have brothers, you do, well, there's some sugar in there. Uh, you don't have to share everything, but I'll give them some cookies too. You don't have to share them, your cookies in there. And a nice little gift from Ava Jewelers is in there for your mom or for you if you want to get something. So it's a little gift certificate that you can, all righty. Okay. Anything else? Other than um, you have to promise me that you'll come back later in the year to share with folks when you're ready for donations. Yes, probably. Um, that um, one time we did it for patients and policemen or firemen, and then another time we did it for firemen or policemen and... Um, cancer patients. Yes. You did it for cancer um, patients. Wait, did I? At the James, the James Cancer. Mm -hmm. You did it for the cancer patients mm -hmm. as well. Yep. That's pretty cool. Is there something that you haven't done yet that you want to do? Um, Have you thought about it? I wanted to donate to animals because I love animals. Hmm. Well, let me know when you want to do that because <laughs> I yep, like animals too. I have friends at the Humane Society mm. to help the animals. So maybe you can do beds and blankets for animals too. They like blankets too. Did you know that? It'd probably be, have to be really big for some animals. Some of them, yes, I agree. Some of them would have to be really, really big. Cyrus, thank you so very much for spending time with me today. I am, you're my inspirational person of the month is what you are. Okay? Keep on inspiring and doing great things and making a difference. Because what you did, once again, it touched my heart. So thank you, my friend.
Okay. Folks, thank you so much. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. It's Down Here with Tina. Bay Food Market is Fairfield County's source for high-quality, locally-sourced meats. The meat case is always full of quality, fresh beef, pork, gourmet burgers, and gourmet brats for you and your family to enjoy. Bay Food Market cures and smokes their own hams, bacon, and sausage. Visit Bay Food Market at the corner of Maple and Walnut Streets in Lancaster and discover the Bay Food Market difference. Open daily, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., closed Thursday and Sunday. Bay Food Market, proudly serving Fairfield County families for more than 90 years. Where can I find advanced heart care? When you choose Fairfield Medical Center for your heart care, you'll find confidence in our expertise and peace of mind in our compassion. Your health is important, and our heart and vascular experts specialize in the latest technology and treatments to keep you feeling your best. Whatever you're searching for, you can find it at Fairfield Medical Center. We want everyone to feel comfortable and safe that you pick up that phone, you make that phone call, and let us just guide you and lead you where you want. And then you can make an informed decision about what's best for you and your family. Downhill with Tina is brought to you by these amazing sponsors. Folks, you can watch Downhill with Tina in a few different ways on Spectrum 1021. It runs throughout the week a couple or a few times a day, and it begins every Wednesday, a new episode that is. Also on Facebook, Downhill with Tina. And if you would like to share it, I am all for that. Also on YouTube, CLN, your hometown connection. Back to just talking about my new found friend, Cyrus. <laughs> I tell you what, it is so amazing when you get the opportunity to spend some time with a young person and just the inspiration that this young man has and wants to continue to do and talking to his mom and stuff, you know, they've wanted to give him the opportunity after he got a little older to do what he wants to do by giving around the holiday time and this time it was blankets. Now, anybody that that's close to me, I well, real close to me, or in my family especially, they know I love blankets. So I always have a plethora of blankets at my house. So it was really, really cool just to be able to get a new blanket and the meaning of a blanket and something that this young man had no idea what he was walking into. He had no idea the connection of what I had with him when it came to going into the hospital on Christmas Day and then eventually not having my dad with me anymore. And having that is very, very, very special. It's a new year. I like to think as a new year, as new beginnings. And when the passing of my father took place on New Year's Eve, I was telling myself, he's gonna be in a new place for his new year, a happy place where he's no longer gonna be in pain. And that's what helped me to just realize and keep on moving. I have my days, we all have our days when we lose a loved one, but I have never in my life would have imagined that it would feel like this, losing a parent. So, if you will, take the time. Call your mom up, call your dad up, spend some time with them. Just any, any amount of time at all. Just most importantly, let them know you love them. Thank you so much for watching the show. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a blessed week. I'll be back next week. It's Downhill with Tina. Mm -hmm.